Hello YouTube, it is Champion DJK coming at you again with a, another video, and it's a 10 Car Tuesday episode. Today we're going to take a look at some Matchbox. Mostly they're going to be um, some police, some fire, some EMT. Uh, you know, kind of the Matchbox old bread and butter for these orange card uh, Matchboxes, what we'll call them. Um, yeah, we'll take a look. So, here we go. 1975 Mac CF fire truck. Start. Uh, this one in particular looks like copyright date 2014. Uh, let's go ahead and open her up. And take a peek. So, obviously, smaller than 164 scale. Otherwise, this thing would be absolutely massive. Matchbox County, Chrome Base, MB964, 75 Mac CF Pumper, copyright date 2014. So I wonder if this actually, this casting did come out in 2014. This might have been a new one for that year. I'm not really sure. It looks okay. For some people that collect fire trucks, I know there are some people that um, do co collect, you know, fire truck die cast. This one, uh, all the white you see here is metal. The red is plastic. The base is chrome plastic, uh, which makes up the like bumper grill area. I mean, all in all, it's pretty detailed, uh, Tampa wise. You just get the uh, sides are where the, all the detail is, and it works on this uh, little fire truck. So there's that, and then we have another fire truck. This is a Pierce Dash, which Pierce Manufacturing um, is, I believe they're headquartered in my area. For my real job, they are one of my customers. Um, let's go ahead and open that up. Uh, this one also probably a yeah, 2014 copyright date on the package. I think this casting's been along, around a bit longer, though. Let's see what we got for copyright date on the bottom of here. It's always hard to read it on these, like, textured 2008 or 5. It's hard to tell. Um, so this one, the red is metal. The white part is plastic. The black part is plastic. Of course, chrome plastic base, which I think actually, yeah, the base makes up this middle section as well. Uh, Size-wise, it looks like to be about the same scale, probably, as the Mac. Somewhere in there. So, these trucks are cool. You just really wouldn't be able to use them, probably, for a diorama, just because of the scale. You could do some, maybe, forced perspective photography with them, but uh, other than that, uh, you're not going to do too much with these. But uh, they do look, I don't know, they still look kind of nice. And again... Nobody really makes these. Like, you're not going to see Hot Wheels make a realistic fire truck. So, kind of fits a niche uh, in the die cast market. Uh, same thing with these, these ambulances. So, this is a Ford F350 ambulance. These are probably all these cars are probably from 2014 or 2015. This one's 2015. I'll go ahead and open it up. And there's your ambulance. Um, the cool thing about these is they probably have play value. Plastic body, metal base on this one. So you get a metal base. Makes it nice and easy to read. Copyright date 2009 on the casting. So that's likely around when it came out. It was probably 2010. Santa Ursula Ambulance Services. I have no idea where Santa Ursula is. If it's even a real place. Rolls nice, of course, as Matchbox always do, does, or usually does. And there's your ambulance. Not bad. Not bad little car, or truck, or van, or whatever. Here is a Renault Master Ambulance. So this looks like more of a European-style ambulance. Let's go ahead and open that one up. Uh, copyright date on the back of the package is 2014. This one shares the, some of the similar attributes in that it is a plastic body um, metal base. This one is a painted metal, painted black metal base. 
2011 copyright date on the actual casting itself. Not too bad. I mean, I don't really collect this stuff too much per se, so some of this stuff is kind of boring for me. But we're going we're gonna to get a little bit more, I think, interesting as we go on here. But that's your car number four for 10 Car Tuesday. This ambulance. Or no ambulance. Uh, the next one is the 63 Cadillac ambulance. This is kind of cool. We're getting a little bit cooler here, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, this one is copyright date 2016. What does that say? Beverly Hood. So this is Beverly Hood. EMT ambulance. Yellow windows look a little goofy in the green paint. It's kind of a neat casting though. It's an old caddy. Looks like the casting's been around 2014. It's in 181 scale according to this. I'm not sure how accurate those scale numbers are when they put them on the bottom of a matchbox. The color is actually kind of nice. It goes. It's a little weird with the gold and the yellow. I don't think it really gels all that well. Um, well whatever. I mean, it's a decent one. It's kind of an interesting one. So and there you have it. Uh, let's see here. Then we're going to kind of an SUV style. We get a police Ford Explorer. Open up that one in a pearl white service to community number eight. Looks a little bit more off road style than what the police car I think should look. Maybe I don't know, maybe I'm way off base on that. Um, copyright data of the castings 2012. Plastic base in this one that makes up, uh, know, looks like there's a separate plastic piece that makes up like the uh, wheel arches and the uh, brush guard up front. So one rivet cast and design, so it hooks into the back like that, giving it kind of the illusion of a license plate. Kind of interesting. The pearl white color is nice. Hmm. It's a sheriff. Not bad. Oh, wait, wait, I got another one. Same casting. Another Ford Explorer. Police. 2016 on this package. Okay, so similar in construction. However, we can kind of see the difference in the two pieces on this one because it does have the black plastic base and then you can see the gray. So the gray actually is part of the interior as well and makes up this top piece. So it looks like that's all one piece. So this, this, these exterior features and the interior are all one piece is what it appears. It's kind of hard to tell on this one because everything's black. You got black base, black, uh, you know, interior and everything. This one a little it's a little bit easier to tell. And that is what it appears to be. And it's not a bad tooling. Kind of fun. I mean, kind of boring to me, like I said. I don't really collect this stuff, but uh, still kind of fun. All right, these last three are... Oh, well, no, sorry. The cars. Let's do this one first. This BMW M5 Police. I think I might have opened this car on a different police car episode. Um, I might have. Well, whatever. If it's a duplicate, it's a duplicate. But here it is. Looks familiar to me, though. I like the wheels on this one. The overall design of this one, I think, looks pretty sharp. Uh, the wheels have kind of like a oil spilled on the ground look to them. I guess that's the only way I can think of to uh, uh, describe the color of them. Nice basic silver car with green uh, tampo action. And I think it looks quite good, actually. It'd be nice to have some detail in the, the back of it. It'd be nice to have some more detail in the front besides a little BMW logo. But 
what can you ask for? It's a dollar car. Uh, it looks like the casting's been around since 2014. I think it's a good-looking uh, BMW tooling. Could use some headlights and taillights, of course, but uh, again, it's a dollar car. You're not going to get much more than what you got here, and I think it looks pretty good. So that's a decent one. Um, and then the last two, are these the same? Yeah, Dodge Charger Pursuits. Uh, so this guy here. Now, you can get Dodge Charger Pursuits quite a bit in Greenlight's Hot Pursuit line. But here you go, you got the dollar versions, Matchbox. Copyright date 2015 on this packaging. This one actually looks pretty nice. Um, it's a nice, like, uh, matte or satin black. Probably satin black would be appropriate. Description for it. Finish with Metropolis, St. Ursula County. What's the deal with Ursula? Somebody tell me what that's about. I mean, I could Google it, I suppose, but uh, just tell me what it's about in the comments. Copyright date 2012 on the casting itself. I think this is a pretty sharp looking police car right here in the kind of satin black finish. With the black wheels looks pretty men menacing. So let's check that out. And then lastly, another one Dodge Charger Pursuit State Trooper for MBX County. Matchbox County. And there you have that one. Again, same tooling as the black one. Uh, the black one looks a lot better, I think. And this one looks pretty nice, though, too. It's brush card in front, which is... The brush card is... Is it part of the base? No, I don't think it is. I think it's part of the interior. Mm. It's really hard to tell. No, but there is a gap there. Yeah, it looks like... It looks like I think it's part of the interior. You can't really tell because it's both the uh, the base and the interiors on these are black. Not that it really matters what part of the car it is. But there you have it. And that's going to be it for this 10 Car Tuesday episode. So, so a relatively short one, um, just with some Matchbox police cars, some fire trucks, some EMT uh, vehicles, which kind of Matchbox is more known for than Hot Wheels. Matchbox does put out a lot of like police cars and stuff like that. Um, so they're kind of cool. And uh, yeah. So if you dig it, you dig it. If you don't, you don't. That is okay. Uh, please check out my other videos. i got other 10 Car Tuesdays uh, for a wide breadth of topic. Uh, different types of cars, different brands, all sorts of stuff. Usually if you're not familiar with these 10 Car Tuesday videos, they're all pretty much themed. So check them out. I would say probably the winner of the day. I like this little BMW. I think it's my favorite. My second favorite is probably that guy. My third favorite is probably that guy. And then my fourth is probably a toss-up between these two. I probably this I like this one a little bit better than the other. And then the Cadillac. And then really these fire trucks and these ambulances and stuff. I'm really not into it all, so... Uh, yeah, that's about it. All right, so thank you guys very much for watching. Have yourself a great day.